Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of scarcity of resources. This is standard 3.9b in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 5, the 2024 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So, this is a personal financial literacy question. And we have just a little bit of a story. So farmers planted more orange trees, resulting in an increase in the orange crop. This will affect the price of the oranges, and we need to figure out how it will affect the price of the oranges. It will increase or decrease, but you notice we've got two increases, and then we've got two decreases. So even just guessing one of those wouldn't help us because we got to know exactly why. So let's draw a picture here. So farmers planted more orange trees. So let's say I've got one, I've got two, these are my orange trees, and I've got three orange trees. All right, so those are my three orange trees. And I've got three people that want to buy them. Maybe not the whole tree, but they want to buy, you know, a tree full of oranges to make orange juice. Well, if you have three orange trees and three people willing to buy them, then everyone gets one. That's not that big of a deal. But what happens if you don't have three oranges? So I want to see what happens if we have less orange trees or if we have more orange trees, which is what the story problem says. Well, what if we have only one orange tree and three people still want to buy them? Well, that means someone's going to get it and then the other two are going to be upset they aren't going to get oranges because there's not enough oranges to go around. Which means the owner of this orange tree, if they wanted to, can start making the price go up. So rather than selling it for $1, which they might have if everyone had their own oranges, maybe they can sell it for $2 because one of these two people would be willing to pay a little bit more since they still want the oranges. Or maybe they can sell it for $3, $4, or $5. Because three people are trying to get one item, and sometimes people are willing to pay more if there is, and that's that word again, a scarcity of resources. That means there's not enough for everybody. Scarcity means your price goes up. So let's think about what happens when the opposite occurs. So we've got our three orange trees. And we've got our three people. And the owner of the orange tree says, you know what, I'm making, I'm making a decent amount of money. I want to plant some more orange trees, because that's what happened in this story. Farmer planted more orange trees. Okay, so let's say I've got five orange trees now. That doesn't do you any good if you don't also get more customers and you can't control how many customers you have. So what's gonna end up happening is these three customers, they each get an orange tree, but now they get to choose and there's gonna be two left over. Well, since they know uh, there is more than enough resources, right? We might call that a glut or an excess of resources. They can get a little bit more choosy. And they can say, you know what? I don't feel like paying a dollar. I want to pay 80 cents. And the owners might be willing to sell it for 80 cents because if not, no one's going to buy it. So when there's a glut or an excess of resources, not enough buyers, your price ends up dropping because they, the buyers can start demanding lower and lower prices. So let's see which of these best describes that. So the price will likely increase. No, we said it's going to decrease because there's more oranges for sale. Now the price is going to go down because there's too many oranges for sale. The price will likely decrease, that's what we said, because there are more oranges for sale. All right, that looks like what we're thinking. The price will likely increase. No, the price is going to go down because there's too many oranges for sale. But let's look at this other decrease, see why that one might not work. The price will likely decrease, yes, because there are fewer no, actually, there's more oranges for sale. So that doesn't work. Our answer here is B.